come and help and you didn't pull me up today. Because I got something for him on Saturday. And Saturday, I can put it on him. And he said, he promised me. After this meeting, you never talk to me no more. So I want him, I want him to go to rest. That's when I beat him on Saturday. For him never to challenge me again. Because I hate beating up my friends. It makes me feel bad to beat up my friends. But you told me you eat any food, how you food taste? Food taste good. <laughs> Uh, 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 Alright then, you got him for Saturday? Next Saturday, 4 o'clock, stay the school. Alright. Bye, we tell you to come up. You hear that? Oh yeah, husband. If you need a work coming for you, you leave my house right now. <laughs> Yeah, Kenny, we here live in Baratari. We got uh, Anderson and Bonefish Oli preparing their meat for Exuma Chop. What do you got to say, uh, Mr. John? When I finish with him, grass ain't going to go down more. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Anderson, what you got to say to, to your to your components, sir? Well, I tell him, like I tell him before, this is going to be the last time he challenges me. Because when I put him down this time, he ain't going to challenge me no more. He's my friend, and I hate beating up on my friends. <laughs> so, after the day... I'm gonna put it, do this one for him. I can do this one for him and then put him out of his misery. There you have it, there you have it, folks. Every man have their own goat. You got the foot, everything in involved, the head. This the head that chop him in my foot. That's the head, that's the head right there. You got some teeth in your say, Anderson. Yeah, teeth in your say. I didn't get my teeth out. I didn't get my teeth out. You didn't get any teeth out. Y'all need to know that we are live and beautiful by Jerry. There's my good friend Oli, waking hard, getting things together. It'll be a shame if he get beat in his own hometown and in his own kitchen. But hopefully that won't happen. Behind the scenes with... You gotta make sure it's clean. Behind the scenes with John Bonefish Oli. Gotta make sure it's clean. Waking hard, getting the mutton sauce together. Gotta make sure it's nice and clean. Now that we got Oli by himself, uh, what what the secret is you can use today to put the beating on him? You gotta wash it nice and clean, cause guess what? It gotta be white. White is cleanliness. No no cloudy sauce. No cloudy sauce. From a cloudy, he should lose. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so you ain't tell him that part, right? No, that's the secret in the mix. <laughs> I'm from the old school, okay? I was taught well. Mama them. <laughs> mama, mama them, boy. <laughs> mama say, make sure it's white. <laughs> if it ain't white, he lose automatically. He lose automatic. Oh, shit, yeah. Gotta be pure. So he up there in the kitchen by himself. What do you think? Leave him up there. He's shitting them. What do you think he's doing? He's trying his best, but he know what I'm doing. <laughs> right now, we have them separated. Uh -huh. Anderson is up in the kitchen by himself. John is down here uh, getting his secret components together. So when I he go it, back in there... I use it salt water. To wash it. Clean water. I spawn that for three more time now. Three more time. Three more time. Three, three, spawn three, more, three time. more time. Throw off. Scald. Throw, throw off. Throw off three more time. See, this is a competition. This house got to be done. Those of you all who don't know how to cook sauce, you know, you go to these restaurants, some of these restaurants are playing they, these potatoes. Get your garbage food. They give you these food, but cloudy, cloudy, yeah. cloudy. You can't see the bottom of the plate. It's dirty, dirty. dirty, dirty, dirty. Now you're doing cleanliness. This is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> see this advantage we got by the Bonefish Lodge. We live right on the water. So we, if we cook food, it's properly cooked. Y'all get to see the views, the views, ocean view, right on the water. The seagulls waiting for Johnny to drop something, but ain't nothing going overboard. I'm no. sorry. Okay. What it look like, guys? What and this is fresh mutton, yeah. ladies and gents. This ain't, this ain't store bought and yeah, then frozen in. From farmer's key, man. Yeah, this that, this that, that native mutton. From farmer's key. Go just got killed about two days ago. Two days ago, Friday, Thursday. Yeah. Got the head up there. I got to do the head the same way. I got to go get the head now to bring it down here. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah they're ringing night. People who are in the call only to make sure he in good spirits because it's been brought to our attention that he lost the first cook off. Yeah, I lost it. Under, under, uh, it's still under review. We ain't know what yeah, happened. I, uh, we Someone is calling me Yeah, yeah. We think he cheated. <laughs> we ain't know what happened, yeah. but. He has a wife who can cook very well. Uh -huh. And I think she helps him. You think she helped him the first time? Yeah, yeah. He don't want to admit to that. No, but everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Where's she in here today? No. <laughs> he cut up in meat, yo. He start everything, yo. So ladies and gentlemen, we can check in with Mr. Anderson shortly. Go up in the kitchen, go get him. We can check in with him shortly. You go in the kitchen, he's right in there. John waking up, yeah, I can't tell Anderson what John no, doing because this is, this is really a battle today. Now we're checking in with Sarge. I just had a one-on-one -on -one with the other competitor on the outside. He tell me some secrets for the user, but I can't tell you what he tell me. I already got that second burden, but now see. Give me. The second burning, all I gotta do is just get that together now. That's the second burning. See, with native mutton, you have to burn them a little longer than you have to burn the mutton that you buy out of the store. So, preparation is key. Always remember when it comes to cooking, it's preparation and taste. Preparation, presentation, and taste. I had some people in the comments earlier on, everybody was like, I I'm gonna be honest with you, the, 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 the voting so far has been even. I have a lot of people who say, Holy, and I have a lot of people who say, You as well. Now someone in the comments said, boy, I understand like he can season a pot. I don't know if that person had your food before. Preparation, tasting, and what I say please? Preparation, tasting, and presentation. All right, all right, all right. So presentation. Presentation. Let's talk about that. This could be the cloudy sauce or this could be the clear sauce. Well, it sounds, it can be clear. It can be clear. But just look at the presentation. Then you can look at the, I already, I'm doing the preparation now. Then the next thing will be the, pre, the presentation. Then it'll be the taste. That's the final thing, the taste. PPT. Y'all remember PPT. Preparation. Come on, you <laughs> Preparation, presentation, presentation and, and the taste. taste. There you go. There you go. There you go. Right now, in the kitchen, the kitchen hot right now, so the tree of thought might be a little off, but... We're still working hard to get it. Yeah. See the pot, the pots them, the body flaming up in here. They see no play play kitchen. They work in the day. They work in the day. They work in the day. And it smells like sauce. And he ain't started yet. He ain't started yet. Now only outside working up a secret weapon. Can't let Anderson know what the secret weapon is. Anderson, I hope you have your secret weapon as well. I have my secret weapon. I have my secret weapon. The judges are upstairs. Ain't nobody know the judges. Nobody know who the judges are. I, like say, I have the plates. I have some plates. Just put a tree. He do it. I just have three bowls in my sauce. He just have three bowls in sauce. One, sauce one, and sauce two. Take them out to the judges. The judges in the side. The judges have one bowl of each one of the sauces. Uh -huh. And then they decide with the three judges. Uh -huh. So if two or three judges pick me, like last time, the three judges pick me. Three. This time I expect the tree again. You expect me to tree again? Tree again. You don't expect, expect no split decision? No split decision. I expect that that's not him out. Totally not him out. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, the next competitor is back here, so we're going to end this interview because we don't want the secrets to be divulged. Peace. <laughs> Besides, they can see it right now. I'll do the mutton sauce that I'm going to win a little later. And I'll take this mutton, instead of basing it on a losing part of sauce, I'll turn that into a part of curry mutton. So you will still have your, your sauce mutton? I'll have my sauce. And, and, you, will, give up and, you, and you curry his own? Right I'll curry his own. So you will do two different do two styles? Different last time we did, last time we had a competition, I did a part of pea soup <laughs> and a part of bean soup. I didn't, didn't judge my man, that's, man, that's showing off, man. Yeah, that's showing off. Because I have to do it with it. Again, it is, it's, it's unfair for me to cook one pot of sauce with this one pot of sauce. <laughs> hey, grandma, don't let your mouth put you in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, no, no give up. Never give up. Hey, I fight to the end. No giving up. And I will put a on. Never. We'll see. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. It's going down. It's going down. Ladies and gentlemen, you, what you see in here is two different sets of mutton. This is just the meat of the goat. And this is the, the foot, the liver, and the head. The foot, the liver, and the head. You burn them separate, and we're going to incorporate them into the mutton sauce. Now, Anderson shared a tip for y'all for y'all who don't know how to do this, for y'all who just trying to learn this and don't burn all together. might want to practice this. Do not boil all the meat together. Tell them why, Sarge. Because, you know, the head have a lot of bones. 
in it and then they have a different flavor. So when you boil the meat, the real mutton itself, you want to keep that separate from the head, the foot, and the tail, and the liver, and everything else. And where are you getting all that from? Do you think something is weird? Because they take a, a different, see, you're trying to distract me now. Trying to me. And plus, it, it takes a bit longer to burn. Yes, sir. The head and the, and, the, and, the, and the foot and everything take a little longer than the meat itself. So yes, you sir. want to burn all together because you'll get a different blend. There you have it, folks. There you have it, folks. Johnny, you learn anything? No. Johnny, did you did you learn anything, New Orleans? I think you robbed me, man. This little small got more meat than me. Look like oh, we got just a small pot. Just a small pot. Why are you trying to find excuse already? First it was me seasoning the the salt beef. Anyone know what soup? Anyone ever seasoned peas? I didn't season peas. Now is now is you got more meat than him. Now is I got more meat than him. Ain't long now. Ain't long now. Ain't long now. Now, Sarge, I see you take the, the, the meat that was in this pot and you add it to this pot and we need to tell these people the preparation of putting the soup, this, this sauce together, the steps, the seasoning steps, all that stuff so persons at home, they can try this on their own. Just a stay tree of the sauce. What I just did was incorporate the mutton that already been burned twice, washed and clean. I put that in a pot that I had on the stove with the, some lemon, some salt and some other seasoning along with some spice and everything to have that burning that I just add the mutton to that. So when I come to a burl now, that'll make the mutton a little bit more tender. And the way you have to do after that, you just add the onions, the celery, and whatever other ingredients I can put along with the potatoes, and that'll be it. That'll be the completion of the mutton. Uh, and what about this little now, secret weapon here? This is the head, the, the foot, the liver, and everything else. So I'm gonna add this into that one side already, Prepare this, I'm gonna wash this again and clean it off. Make sure I prepare it again, then I'll add that into the mutton sauce once it's already. So you add all of that or just some pieces I'm of it? I'm not gonna add all of it because it's a lot of bones in it. So I just put a portion in it so when the judges taste, they'll be able to taste a piece of the liver, a piece of the head, a piece of the foot if they so desire. So when the judges judge, they'll judge on the texture of the liver, the texture of the foot, the head. Oh, they, the judges might like the head, so they might just want the mutton sauce. And slide that piece aside. So slide that piece aside, but they'll have a chance to eat a piece of everything and they'll be able to taste and, and dis distinguish. With it. So, it's a lot of steam coming from this part, but there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's coming together nicely. It's coming together nicely. We ain't putting no herbs no in. Pepper, so. and salt, and long, onions, and nothing else is in it. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the we just, ladies, ladies and gents, we're we on the balcony right now, the calm before the storm. A few, a few only good friends out here. I got Chucky, e. Pat, I and the Chef Yadi out here taking a smoke break. Boy, only you got fans pulling for you to pull this one off. Yeah, um, they want me to beat them. They if Anderson beat me, I throw my hand in. I will never challenge another person in my life. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't say that right. You ain't say that right. If Anderson beat you, Again. 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 <laughs> I would throw the towel in. And never tell anybody And again. I wouldn't challenge no one again. All I'll do I'm is like, drink my little drinks like, and cross like, my little I'm legs. Like, a dog, a dog with a tail between his legs. Of course. I'm going to go with the towel in. Go on, let me hear what you're doing. All right, the next is a big jump now. Oh, boy. <sighs> <laughs> See, I'm practicing social distancing right <laughs> After this competition, you don't have to worry about social distancing when it comes to kitchen and cooking. Man. We'd be so far apart, you wouldn't even see us. We'd be like on a different island with different plants. <laughs> yeah, you need he, 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 he's, he's no competition for me. I'm going to whip him just for fun. This is fun for me. This is fun. I'm going to whip him for fun. He brought us out there earlier on. He brought us say, man, please don't beat my brother one more time. Junk yeah, yeah, but I, I mean, I tried to uh, convince him to back out. But he refused. But sometimes, some people just have to feel. You know, when you have, when you, uh, as a father, you have some children, you have to learn. When, you, when your mother tells you, how that butt don't make good soup? Yeah. How that butt don't make good sauce? Hey, you can't eat me the first time, right? But I stop and do it. I toss it off and try again. This time, I'm going to die. Back in the fire pot. Yeah. We're back in the fire pot. It's going down now. Let's get it. Everything together now. This is the final stage.
do we put everything together at the final stage of the mutton. That's this is Anderson Port. Port. Yeah, this is Anderson, Anderson Port. Port, Chef Anderson Port. Allegedly the women port. Here we have. Allegedly the second place. Chef Oli, Bonefish Oli. He's still working. Still putting the final touches on. Smell nice in here. I won't even lie to y'all. It smells like sauce. Oh, you still got the secret weapon in yeah, here? Yeah, I put it in here. I got that in later. You ain't had, you ain't had all the stuff in yet. All right. Now that, we ain't going to put in the potato after I add that. Just the potato. Get so as you all can see, there's two different methods being prepared here. Uh, John, have all this stuff together. Chevron doesn't have his own separate at this time. But it's coming together nicely. Now, now we just find this bag. Anderson sneak this bag down here. Yeah. He had a he had a tuck away in a secret location. Yeah, right this. Uh, this is the, the, the bag for the judges. This is just the, the plates that each one of us will have two, two um, three bowls. Each everyone will have three bowls uh, on three spoons. And we'll put our food on the bowl in each bowl and we'll put it on a tray. And someone will take it out of the kitchen, not knowing which part it came out of. Exactly. Have part one and part two. Exactly. So the judges will have a plate each from part one and from part two. So and they'll determine which plate, which part, which plate is the is the winning plate, whether it's hey, from part one or part two. So you ain't trust Johnny to let you know plates, you bring your own plates and stuff. No, I just put the not have no plates here. You don't have no plates, so I have some plates home. That's the one. Instead of using the disposable plates for the judges, you bring the real deal. Instead of using the disposable plates, the real deal, Holyfield. Yeah, the real deal. Alright, the potatoes here, right? I'm going to put my potatoes in, then I'll then cut off will commence. John, where are your plates? I bring plates for him too. That's the thing about it. I bring plates for him too. I bring his plates too. I bring I just to be fair. I bring three plates for him, and I bring three plates for me. So, so you're only beating him. You helping him as you beat him. He needs Johnny speechless. Oh yeah. lord. Well, I mean, he's a cool dude, you know. He's a cool dude. But you gotta beat him this time. Yeah. But when I beat him, he give me one love. He give me love. I hate you. No, no. no. I love you. <laughs> ah, I'm incorporating it. The head. The liver, the gizzard, the foot, and the foot, and incorporating it in the mutton. So that's the, the, the final step. Just come on. So the next thing after this, just going to incorporate all of this, all of the head, the, and everything else to be in that, and then in the pot to one pot. So that's the complete pot with the mutton, the head, the liver, the gizzard, the foot, and everything in one. So the way we have to do it now, now is just put the potatoes and then be straight. There you have it, Chef Anderson on the go. Ain't long now. So we brought in live, we have the commander in the building. Oh, yeah. One of one of our previous chefs on our first episode. One of our previous judges, sorry. He was on our first episode. We now here about that working hard again. Our commander, how do you feel about the competition so far? Well, uh, with all due respect, I saw the live feed about two seconds ago. And but only I didn't go too much water in your pot. Your pot looking too long, man. Take some of the water out. <laughs> We, 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 have, we have Captain Jeffrey here, also a road builder down in Baradari, supporting uh, the top episode number two. Uh, Chef Jeffrey, how you feel about your good friend only chances today? Let the water boil out. Yeah. So you you concerned about the water as well? I get in that Alright, let me ask you another question. Yeah. Did you see the two pots? Yeah, I you had a chance to look at, at both pots. Yeah. The water and the only one is a little bit concerned at this time. Yes or no? You gotta boil it alone to get the water. What? It ain't it ain't time now. They all look tasty. It ain't time yet, ladies and gentlemen. They all look tasty, they look they look nice. He gotta add water. Yeah, actually, I have to add water. That's not gonna be hot raw.
I put my water in the gun mine. <laughs> Let me say, maybe an hour away. We one more hour away, so we still got a lot of time to go and, and get this done. <laughs> Taters already cut up for Chef Anderson. <laughs> Johnny's still seasoning as he go. This is a crucial step. Y'all gotta learn this. Mama teach him that. Chef working hard, chef working hard. And be watching as he... Step back, step back. Put him in, give him 15 minutes and that's it. See, look at my stove. Gotta cut my stove down. I got it down, just use a flicker. Not a flame, just a flicker. Native mutton, native mutton. And I want everyone to know this is the sauce he chose. The soap, he chose the soap, and he chose the sauce. And I pick, and I pick nothing yet what I can do. Just for background purposes, Johnny, why did why did you choose mutton sauce? Because it's a hard thing for a person who can't cook to cook. Number one, you gotta clean the mutton. Right, that's the thing. And, and you see you wanna clean the clean video I'm gonna clean. But I mean need a start, not a start. I think the judge should look at cleanliness, yep. not dirty sauce. Preparation. Pure. Presentation. My water, look at my water, nice and white. Pure, white. Perfect. White water. You know dirty water here. The judge is in here with you. Preparation. Presentation. Presentation. And taste. Preparation. P P T. P P T. That's my That's my slogan. That's my slogan. P P T. Preparation. Preparation. Presentation and taste. All you got it. All you got in the model. model is. My model is make sure you're done. You don't want to know raw meat. You do you like him, sir? Oh, that's right. That's right. That's great. I can taste the rightness in that. Real good. Ladies, we are pulling for today. Uh, ladies, we are pulling for and it's going to go off today. John Olsen McKenzie. Oli McKenzie? Yes. We are pulling for today. John Olsen McKenzie. Let, 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 me, let, me get, let me get you outside of the story. Who, who you got in the competition today? We get John Olsen McKenzie. Oli Olsen McKenzie got this. Everybody for Oli? Anderson for your people! Oli! 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 Why have you got beaten today? Why have you got beaten today? find some people for Anderson Corner because everybody outside said Oli 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 and y'all know we in Baratang so he in hostile territory so you all in Anderson Corner yeah 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 you in Anderson Corner yeah man yeah man boy Anderson the people outside cheering they said Oli 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 I just sent him outside the people cheering for him, boy, only if you lose. Only if you lose and you got all these chair leaders. If I blindfold it, but I don't have a stove. That's only making me If I blindfold it, I'm gonna stove. Boy, as I check back in. It's getting tight now, it's getting tight now, the I'm pressure. I finished, I finished. The pressure is on. This is my finished quarter. I done finished. I'm finished. I'm done. So now I'm going to pick up for the judges. I just let that simmer down and pick up for the judges. That's it, I'm done. Chef Andy is done. The pressure is on now. Only got a whole chair and squad outside, a whole chair and section. The pressure is on when you're in your own hometown and people screaming your name, saying, Holy, holy boy, be loose. Captain Morgan say something, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> she right yet? 
See me right there. Something wrong. Something wrong. Oh God, bro, the pressure is on. The pressure is on. Johnny! <laughs> Only say somebody meeting done. Say my meeting done, okay. <laughs> somebody say only party in season. <laughs> Coming down to the wire in the house, son. What it could be? Meet what season and ain't done? Or meet what done and ain't season? Can't get right, can't get right. <laughs> Time now. Getting the time Step is back. now. Step back. Potatoes are going in. Johnny putting on the final touches. Mutton sauce on the go. This is it, Johnny. Everybody on the outside cheering. The crowd roaring. They say, Holy, 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 Holy. 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 Not all. Not one Anderson. Not one Anderson. Hear that? You in hostile territory, Sanch? That's what I like. That's what I like. Figures. Taste. Don't lie. Preparation can't lie. Tell them the, the motto again. PPT. PPT. Preparation. Presentation. Presentation and taste. Oh. I will never give up on my dreams. No way. Keep on fight with every means. Let him cut the bush up. Let him calm down. <laughs> Finish with time to spare. Yeah. So I got to clean up this place and then get two choices from behind the back. I had, I had to. I had to bring, I had to bring, I had to bring the competitor on the outside. Holy, 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 holy. We have you, we have you on camera, we have you on camera saying holy. Two minutes ago. So, Sarge, as you can see, as you can see, you're in a hostile territory. Nobody on your side at this time. Nobody on your side at this time. Only you have a whole section. A whole section. Now, let me tell you what the bad part about it is. That makes the pressure even more intense. Because you don't want to expect it after the win. No, because he's the police. <laughs> police guy, do I want to believe it. The plating and start. The plating and start. Showtime at the Apollo, ladies and gents. Let's see how focused Oli is. No smiling. See how Vandy had it. This is it. In the nail and bend. Story end. We have the right. You all know this man. He's famous all over the country. Reverend Mark Free. Nice to have you with us today, sir. Yes, sir. What do you expect from this competition? A lot of fun. A lot of fun. You, you, you familiar with mutton sauce? Yeah. So you should know exactly what is good from what in. What ain't good? Ah, uh, there you go. This man has been to every regatta in the country. You know, mutton sauce is be on almost every menu. So there it is. Judge number two. Uh, tell these people a little bit about yourself. Very Nassau. Nassau, you just on the island of Exum enjoying the COVID free area. Yeah. Having a good time coming to take this mutton sauce. You, feel, you familiar with mutton sauce as well? Yes, I am. An island girl, you just live in Nassau. Right. There you go, there you go, there you go. Last but not least, the commander himself. You see, he dressed for the occasion. You have on the hat. Ready to dig down and get me some mutton sauce. This man from Rollville, so you know we got a little bit of sheep over there and goat, 
We don't run around like we used to, but he familiar with mutton sauce as well. I am. You ready for to chow down and, and, and give a good clear, clear, clear judgment? Clear, clear, clear. Again, you, want Again, to, you don't know who cook what. Of course we don't. You all don't know who cook, who cook what. None of the judges know. They don't know. Who food they're tasting at this time. So this is absolutely a blind taste test. I expect tasty food and a good presentation and I'm ready to judge. You ready to judge? Ready to judge. So let, let's have it ladies and gentlemen. First up, contestant number one. Ladies first. Now, Now, that was just that was just the case. We will move these these plates forward. I can do this when I finish. Pop. Don't worry, pops. Now we moving on. The plate number two. Contestant number two. Contestant number two, taste it on the go. Just them two. All right, now judges, we give you all a minute. If you all need to think, we give you all a minute. To, you all can even get together and discuss it. If you all, if you all feel like it was close, you all can get together and discuss it. But you, 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 you have already made up your mind. What, what about you, Rev? You, you have made up your mind. Uh, Commander. Both other judges have already made up their mind. What about you? Well, you, you gotta take another, just another sip. Yeah. We'll give you, we'll give you one minute, sir. Just this time. I got two judges ready to go to give their decision. Our commander is taking one last, one last sip. All right. Now we done. So starting off with judge number one, uh, Reverend McFade, all of your years of eating mutton sauce, traveling throughout this country from regatta to regatta. You now in beautiful Baratari, the city by the sea, enjoying the cook-off between Oli, Bonefish McKenzie, and Jason Sarge Anderson. Uh, I can't tell you which player is which as yet, but in your most humble opinion, which was the winner? The first one. The first one. You went with play number one. Himself, the one who took the longest, so he had something, something that must be wasn't resonating with him. He had to go back for a second time and, and really dig in to figure out which one was it. 
You you made your decision, sir. Hey, Mr. Jarvis, I would say that both was very, 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 very nice. I said number two. My second play was the best tasting one I've had so far. Number two. Okay. You went with number two. I will go number two. All right. This beautiful lady, she's Miss McKenzie to me. Uh, in your most humble opinion, number one. On, ladies and gentlemen, we have the two competitors here. Now, it was it was it was a blind taste test. One played key mode first, and one played key mode second. We have two judges who voted. They went with the first play. Is that correct? That's correct. Plate number one. You have a plate number two. So that's the score of two to one. And we are proud to announce the winner today. At a score of two to one, the winner is Chef number one. Standing outside the beautiful yeah. Moonfish Lodge down there in Baratari, the city by the sea. Yeah. With Exuma Chop champion yeah. of episode number two. Yeah. Moonfish Oli yeah. McKenzie. I beat him. <laughs> Say it loud. I beat him. You get him this <laughs> the best on the tree. The best on the tree. Yeah, you're the first time. Hey, I had to beat him, man. Now. You need the best on the tree. No, no. Yeah. If he will come back, I take another Y'all need to try and find So, match. today, today yeah. is what we call... Well, the challenge got the $1,000. You got to have a train to find one. So today is what we call a redemption for Oli. Oli is redemption day. Yeah. Any words for Anderson before we get to talk to him? Like he boy. was defeated. I beat him. Are you ready now? And no, I will beat him. I will beat him again. Are you ready now? now. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> that's that's I will beat him again. Right here now. The video. Wait, 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 wait. So we started here now with, with, with Mr. Anderson. Uh, it was a hard fought bottle of day. We was cooking from at least 11 o'clock this morning in a very, very hot kitchen and in a hostile environment. Uh, nobody expected you to win down here today because, you know, we in Baradari, the home, the home, the home ground of Oli. But nevertheless, you're still a champion, you're still a warrior. Anything you want to say to the people after this heartbreaking defeat today? All I can say, let the taste be the judge. Let them taste, taste. So, the judges made their decision, and I have to, you have to, sometimes you have to go with the judges' decision. But any, the majority of the people here, and taste court one and court two, they'll make their decision. They'll make their decision. They'll make their decision. So you leave this one in the court yeah, of appeals? Yeah, yeah, leave that one there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody who knows South and taste, you know who wins. <laughs> Both of them were good. One was sour pepper and salt, which that's all South need. When you go and hand it with MSG, it takes away from the flavor. Uh -huh. So you that's not that's not steam mutton. That's sauce mutton. So you felt like you you tasted a hint of, of MSG. Of course, of course, you could taste it. Yeah. Spoken but from a real a, a real woman who cook. cook. Exactly. For 40 years. <laughs> and you can't shit me with food. There you have it. There you have it. So that is why you based your decision and I'm made it. I'm natural. Yeah. I go natural. You go natural. I what sauce supposed to taste like? All right. There you have it. There you have it. There you. Have it. Uh, here we started with our judge number one again. Uh, Rev, you tasted both sauce, but it was something about one that resonated more than the other. Could you tell the people why you made your decision and what did you base it on? Um, on taste and um, seasoning. Uh, both were very good. Very close. It was very close. Um, but I read with one. I could have gone probably two, but I thought one tasted a little better. And uh, it, it was a little uh, tender, more tender to me. And, um, basically, basically, it's on the taste. You know, basically the taste. So, 
It's very odd. Oh, both both tasted very good. Both are very good cups. Uh, unfortunately, you got to pick one. Unfortunately, you have to pick one. Right. And nobody knew. You didn't know who you was tasting. No. 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 Okay. So, we want to thank you for joining us today here and beautiful Bahadra. We hope we see you again very, very soon. Uh, next time, we'll probably be doing something else, but. We, we, it was a pleasure having you aboard with us this, on this beautiful location, Rev. Well, I, I thought it was a great idea. Uh, and I thought the people uh, here participated well. Everybody's eating, and so it, uh, it must be good. If you take a look around, everybody have a plate. Everybody, everybody got a plate. Everybody, everybody, everybody judging for themselves yeah. right now. <laughs> so, but the idea is good, and we need more things like this for Bahamians to come and, and support the various islands of the Bahamas. Very good idea. I congratulate you for the idea, and hope look forward to coming back. Thank you very much, Rev. Thank you so much. Johnny, yeah. you, you got him. Huh? And I will challenge him again. <laughs> Holy, I want you, I want you, before I get out of here, I want you to give, I want you to give Anderson one more word of advice. Boy, Anderson, if you know what good for yourself, you will never want to cook against me again. Because I let you in the first one. That's why I had to put it on you this time. Now you even, now you even now the score. Even. Now you even the you score. Now you even the score. stay friends. <laughs> <laughs> Holy McKenzie, the champion. <laughs>